Hey friends, welcome back to this devotion. Today we're going to talk about the stuff that causes our lives as Christian lives to become unfruitful. Um, we were bearing fruit maybe at a great season in the past, but when you look at your life now, it's pretty fruitless. Um, and we're focusing on the parables, that, uh, parable Jesus talked about the four types of soil. And we're in the third one today, and this is the one that where the seed falls among thorns. And Jesus in Luke chapter 8 verse 14 explains this parable. He says, this soil is like a man who hears the word, one who hears the word, wants to respond to it, it becomes fruitful. But then it says, as he goes on his way, as this person goes on their way, things begin to creep in their lives. He says, um, and he calls these worries or the cares of this world, he calls them riches or the deceitfulness of riches. And um, he calls these the pursuit of pleasure. So as the man goes on his way um, with the seed, with faith, these things begin to creep in. They begin to come and sit on the throne of the Christian's life. And then he says, and it causes the Christian to become unfruitful. So the one that was fruitful becomes unfruitful because they allow worry, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the pursuit of pleasures of this world to come and take the throne of their lives and they become unfruitful. Friend, I want to encourage you today. You are destined to bear fruit, not to be an unfruitful one. You were born for and created for more than this world has to offer. I want to encourage you, look at your heart today. Have these things taken the place, begun to demand of your life and command your life instead of Jesus being on the throne of your life? If they are, hey, just get put Jesus back on the throne of your life. Put these things in place. I mean, I don't, God doesn't mind you having money or riches, but He does mind these things having you. Don't live with worry, but cast your cares onto the Lord. Live by faith and bear all the fruit that God has destined you to bear. Don't let these things quench your fruit, choke your fruit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have an awesome, fantastic day. Amen.